the movie, so much fun, got oh, such a great cast. You. I would love to know what your funniest memory from making it is. Probably all the stuff that I was doing with George, um, who was my best friend, the gorilla, played by another man, like an actor, Jason Lyles, and there were some funny moments where, because George, he has a sense of humor of a teenage boy, so a lot of the stuff that he was doing that was very inappropriate in front of Naomi, like giving me the finger, pretending we're gonna have sex, me and Naomi, not me and the gorilla. <laughs> uh, I always thought that was funny because I too have a sense of humor like a teenage boy. That's something I never thought I would see is a gorilla doing that stuff. Yes, <laughs> when a gorilla does this, I just thought it was funny. And it winds up being one of the biggest laughs of the uh, movie. They're not very funny, but uh, my most memorable moment was at the end of the movie uh, where I get a confrontation with the baddie, played by Marlon Ackerman, and I get to punch her in the face, um, which my character relishes. But I got a bit overzealous that day when I was filming. I misjudged the, the distance between myself and Marlon, and instead of stopping like a couple of inches before her face, I actually followed through and punched her in the face for real. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that was not a good day for Marlin. It wasn't a great day for me as well. I felt guilt for a long time afterwards. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> and it was actually Marlin. It wasn't a stunt person. No, it was really Marlin, unfortunately, yeah. How did she take it? Well, she says she's forgiven me and her face looks okay, do you know what I mean? So um, I hope we're, we're still friends. And how were you with bloopers? Were there any moments? I mean, I guess apart from that one. Dwayne and Jeffrey D. Morgan, they have amazing bloopers because those two would crack each other up all the time. So they'd be literally crying with tears, trying to hold it together and do the, the take at the same time. Myself and Dwayne are both giddy people. So we had a lot of fun and, and, and laughed a lot, probably when we weren't supposed to, but we had such great chemistry that uh, there was a lot of giggling. And, and uh, you know, when you do a movie like this, it lends itself to having a good time. And, and I think we were able to find that good time on a daily basis. I have a tendency uh, to, to giggle, and I did a lot of laughing in this movie. And Dwayne is the same as me, so once we start laughing, then it, it's hard to stop, you know? So I got to work with um, Jake Lacey, was sort of my partner in crime, he played my brother. Literally throughout the whole filming, the only time I was serious was between action and cut. The rest of the time we had Jake Lacey, the comedy, the comedy show, constantly. So it was more just like a, a continuous fun set. You get a big moment with the gorilla. Yes. Which I won't spoil. Yes. But I would love to know what it's like to be attacked by a giant gorilla. On set, it was on green screen, and I was being attacked by a man in a green suit and also a tennis ball. So that was really interesting. It was. It meant that I had to really use my imagination. Not quite as frightening in real life. Right? Not really as frightening, but it worked out well with the visual effects. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing on screen. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was great. One of the ones with that I'm amused by was when we were shooting the plane sequence, we were crashing a plane, and I have Dwayne in, in all these ropes, you know, as he has to fly around in the air. And I just stopped at one moment and I said, have you done this before? And he's like, no, man, I have not done this before. And in my head, like, Dwayne has done everything. So um, there was just like kind of this amusing moment between the two of us where we were just like, this is crazy. Like, what we're doing here is crazy. 